Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I get the opportunity to walk you guys in and around a brand new 2021 Newmar Dutch Star 4081. So good news about this unit is it is here, it is available. Um, there's not a deal written on it. So if you're interested in it, make sure you give me a call. I'll get you my contact info at the end of this, uh, at the end of the video. Um, first thing I want to point out, we did do a special order paint job for this coach. So the white, the blue, the gray, you know, kind of a neutral, good looking colors. Um, if you want, I'll get you my email, but I can send the paint rendering that Newmar provides us so you can actually see how we broke that color down. The first thing we're going to talk about on this 2021 Newmar Dutch Star is this Gerard Nova awning package. So that means a couple things. The first thing is we have the two big integrated awnings in the front or in the cap up there so we can control them individually so the rear one's going out now and now we got the front one coming out as well now while those go out we'll also talk about some of the other awnings part of the Gerard package is we get the um, the window awnings for your major windows now these are just more of shade to keep the Sun from beating down into the motorhome but Newmar does a great job with making these windows also dual pane tinted windows. So you get a lot of extra insulation there with those dual pane windows. And then last awning, but not least, we have the over the entrance, over the entrance to medic awning. So that is just an electric awning. You know, if it's raining outside and you just want to get in the coach, wipe your feet off without having extra water, uh, this awning does a great job there. So now we have fully extended our two Gerard roof awnings so now in each one of these awnings there is a nice LED light strip and I'm controlling all of this from the remote right here so we'll kind of walk around the exterior of this coach first then we'll go inside starting with up front here we do have one of our fuel fills so this has a dual side fuel fill with hundred gallons of diesel fuel total in the front compartment We've got the Dometic CFX refrigerator freezer combo on a tray. So we can open that up. We have two separate compartments here for fridge or freezer. We can change the temperature over on the side. And there's also an app that we can use to change the temperature. You know, if you're sitting inside the coach and don't feel like coming out here to do it. Just a really small control panel there. Push that back in. Now this refrigerator freezer will run off of either 12 volt or 110 volt. So it gives you two options. Up above these compartments, we have the 43 inch Samsung HD TV with a Bose soundbar. This is gonna be for exterior entertainment. You notice we're sitting right below these awnings. So we get a lot of shade right here. So you don't get crazy glares on the screen. On the left side, we do have two 112, 110 volt outlets with two 12 volt USBs paired with that. Down below back to storage here, we've got the pass through storage bay. So this is gonna go from the passenger side all the way over to the driver's side. The tray will come out 60% in either direction. Very easy to move manual tray with a thousand pound capacity. One more storage tray here. Now this one is not a full pass through, but it does still come out about 60% there. Another thousand pound capacity. That way you don't have to crawl all the way back inside of this compartment. If you're storing stuff in there, just bring it to you. Now on the side of this bay, there's a couple things going on. First, we have our awning controllers. So if for some reason you ever lost your remotes, um, you could put the awnings in from here as well. So you've got two controllers, one for the front, one for the back. I just push the button and now the back awning is retracting. And then also in this bay, we've got two 110 volt outlets. Just for if you're sitting outside and need some power, it's right here for you. And lastly, storage wise on the 
the passenger side. This is going to be just a nice storage tray pegboard. Uh, if it were me and I was going to use it, I would keep my emergency supplies in here, you know, road triangles, couple extra quarts of oil, a fuel filter, oil filter, and then some tools. You can hang tools on this pegboard, you know, you just get the little attachments there. Um, makes it really, really easy to keep things organized. In the back here, we've got the first or the passenger side of the DEF tank. So this is a 15 gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank. And then in the last compartment, just our two chassis batteries that are used to start the engine. Okay, so that's what's actually giving the engine running power. And then we have a complete chassis battery disconnect uh, there just for if you're putting this coach in storage for an extended period, period of time, we can cut all the power to these. That way they're not getting drained while sitting in storage. Coming around the rear, full fiberglass rear cap. We've got two backup cameras. So up top there, we've got a HD color camera. Now that one's for if you're backing up, you know, into a space and you want a longer view or be able to see farther behind the coach. This camera down here, this one we can point down directly at the hitch if you're trying to hook up a trailer, or we can also change the angle on it and push it out a little bit farther, just not quite as far as the top one. Underneath the hood here, we've got an 8.9 liter Cummins ISL that's going to be a turbo diesel that will produce 450 horsepower, 1,250 foot pounds of torque. Now, Freightliner does a great job with their chassis. So we've got our transmission dipstick, our engine oil dipstick, our engine oil fill, power steering fluid, fuel filter, water or oil filter, all very nice and accessible. So if you're the kind of person who does your own maintenance, it's all right there for you. Down below that, we've got the two inch receiver with a 15,000 pound towing capacity, a 1500 vertical weight capacity. Uh, so you could actually have 15,000 pounds either on a trailer or in your tow vehicle. Seven pin connector for your trailer brakes, trailer lights, or tow vehicle. And then an airline here for an Air Force One system, if that's what the brake system you use on your vehicle is, the airline is right there. Also, all LED lights, marker lights, brake lights, backup lights, everything's gonna be LED on this. On the driver's side of this motorhome, we've got the side mounted radiator for that Cummins ISL. That is going to provide better airflow than a rear mounted radiator. Also mounted right behind that's gonna be a transmission cooler and a turbo cooler. So really all your major components just get a better, uh, better airflow. We also have dual side DEF fill. So this just goes right into that 15 gallon DEF tank on the other side we talked about earlier. Little bit of hose storage for your sewage hose. It's great that Newmar gives you a dedicated place. People who've had them know that they tend to get a little gross. Now notice this is a 40 foot motorhome. It's 40 feet, nine inches overall length and Newmar does put a tag on it. So a little bit different than most manufacturers having that tag axle. Now that tag axle does have a 12 degree wheel cut. It's a passive steering tag axle. So when you're going around a corner, that axle is actually gonna turn with you. Two things it does, one, it decreases your turning radius a little bit, and two, it keeps this tire from scrubbing and dragging on the ground while you're making tight turns. The water bay on this motorhome, this is the all new one, so you got the stainless steel backer etched in water or uh, labels here, and then hot and cold exterior shower, a remote water pump switch so you can turn on your water pump and use this exterior shower. The SantaCon uh, system here, so that's gonna be a macerator, which we'll get to in just a second. Tank fill valve, black tank rinse, whole house water filter, and then your water inlet hose on a reel. So once you're done, push the button, sucks it back in. We have our winterizing line here, so we're gonna take this, dump it in a bucket of antifreeze, turn your water pump on, and it'll just suck antifreeze through the entire system. And then right here we've got the hose for our macerator system. So instead of doing a gravity dunk, dump for your gray and black tanks, this actually has a pump that'll pump it out. It's much faster and if you're not on a level, uh, if you're not on a level piece of ground, it will actually pump this up a hill if needed. Now as a safety backup, we still do have just a standard gravity dump just in case the pump on that thing ever went bad or something. This compartment here, we've got just a tiny bit of storage, but more importantly, we've got a 50 amp power cord on a reel. So this is a 50 foot cord. When we're done camping, pull it out just a little more, push a button, it'll suck itself right back in there. 
makes it really easy. Um, the most experienced people will hold just a little rag because these cords get a little dirty. So hold a rag as it goes through your hand, it cleans it off for you. Right here, we've got our Oasis hydronic heating system. So that is going to run off of either diesel fuel or electricity, depending on your situation and where you're using it, uh, would kind of determine if you're gonna use electricity or diesel fuel. But that will provide you with on-demand hot water as well as your furnace. And then this is the other side of that pass-through bay. So like I said, 60% either direction, you can get to the middle from either side. Um, obviously, obviously, if what you need is right here, you'd pull it out this way. And then in the very front, eight six volt AGM house batteries on a tray. So if you're the kind of person that does maintenance yourself, bring the batteries to you instead of trying to lug a 60 pound battery two feet back into that uh, into that bay. Now, with these batteries being rather heavy, Newmar does provide just two mechanical pins here. So they just drop in like that. Just to make sure that this tray doesn't move around while you're driving down the road. Right here, we've got the other side of our fuel fill. So like I said, 100 gallons of diesel fuel total. Now, with this, uh, with this, it actually has the bigger nozzles, so if you pull into truck stops, you can use the big nozzles, fill up a lot faster, rather than going to just the standard gas station, use a little one inch nozzle. Right here, we've just got an electronics compartment. We've got the 12 volt fuses for our chassis for the Freightliner side of things. Um, Newmar does a great job by providing you just a couple extra fuses here just to be safe. And then we've also got a hood prop release. Now the Dutch Star comes with a gas prop assisted hood so that you don't have to fiddle around with a, uh, with a prop there. Now in this compartment, mostly just electronics, but we also have the release for our Cummins owning quiet diesel generator. So this is a brand new one, but in that compartment we also have an airline here. If you want to fill up your toys, you need to fill up your tires for some reason, you can do that there. A little water spigot. Uh, just, you know, try to give you as much versatility as they can. While we're in this front here, we will talk about this. The stock number for this num unit is 5 November 201373. Again, it's a 2021 Newmar Dutch Star 4081. We can go ahead and head inside now. So as we walk into this motorhome, um, I left all the slides in for us just so you can see what it's like closed up. You can see here, I mean, we've probably got about 16 inches between these, uh, these couches and everything here. Now, if I wanted to, I could walk all the way back and open up this refrigerator. I could pull the freezer open. And most importantly, in my opinion, we can get into the mid bath on this coach. So it's a nicer day outside. So what I did is I actually left or I plugged it in and ran these ACs. I just wanted to show how quiet they are. Um, so I'm standing directly below it right now and you don't hear, you know, that big warring sound that you hear in the lower end class A's. We'll talk about the cab first, then we'll get this coach opened up. Here on the left side, We've got the control panel for our HWH com computerized leveling. So that's gonna be a four jack system that's used in conjunction with your airbags to auto level this coach. Power adjusting mirrors with a heater switch, tag dump, traction control over override. Newmar does a great job. They give you a power window. Oh, got to turn it on first. They give you a power window on your driver's side, so if you're driving by a toll booth, you can just throw some change out the window. Over here, up next to the console, we've got an auxiliary port in, as well as a 12 volt USB, charge your phone, as well as play music. House bat or battery boost, just in case one of your batteries dies and you're in an emergency situation, you can absolutely pull 
uh, or you can push on one of these and use the other batteries to help get you going. Dome lights, parking brake, headlights. Right here we've got a wireless charging pad so you can just throw your cell phone up on top of that and it'll charge. In the middle here we've got the LCD dash. So a couple things going on in here. We can look at you know our trip meters, our gauges. I'll go to gauge view really quick. So right now we're looking at our DEF level, barometric pressure, as well as engine temperature. If I scroll through here, we can look at instant fuel economy, tire pressure, road watch. This is gonna be our adaptive cruise control. Or if you're not the adaptive cruise control type, we can set it to just be standard cruise control and then it will all be manual. Vehicle configuration, what's important in here is we've got steering effort, so comfort drive steering, which is the electronic assist that helps you in windy days as well as just you know tight driving. We adjust that from here. It used to be just a little rotary knob, but Freightliner's made it a little nicer for us. So, um, going over to the radios here, this left side, this is gonna be where we actually have our radio. So we've got camera control radio, AM, FM, Bluetooth, Sirius XM, our settings and then navigation so right here we'll go into the Rand McNally navigation let's just say we go to RV tools now we can set the parameters of this motorhome it's a 40 foot class A with the tag axle um, so class A with the tag axle and then routing style how much propane you have now this coach doesn't have propane but this will guide you on roads that you'll make it down without any issue rather than you know you're just trying to figure it out and end up on a dead end cul-de-sac so and then this right screen over here we've got just a camera screen so when you're driving down the road it'll be set to uh, your backup camera and then once you so there's our backup camera there now once you turn a blinker on it will show you that side of the motorhome I've got the uh, door open so it's gonna look a little goofy right now and then your visors and shades for the front cockpit area So you've got two, two separate visors here. Sorry, the uh, it's got a safety lock that will only let it come down so far if the ignition is on. But so this one down here is going to be like our day shade. So just you'll still get light in, but you're still able to see out. This one here is our privacy shade, so that's a full blackout. So you won't be able to see in or out of this motorhome once that one is fully extended, and then. A couple extra light switches here for your docking lights. Right here we've got fan controls, generator start and stop, entrance door lock, air horn, courtesy lights, the visor for the passenger side, and then the 360 camera select switch. Now this coach does have a 360 camera system. So now it gives us kind of a bird's eye view of the motorhome. So it's as if we're looking down on it and it uses the cameras all the way around to give us a kind of a cool picture of everything there so and then we can scroll through them and look at the left the right the top bottom whatever we need to do so uh, we're gonna I'm gonna close this door really quick we're gonna get this coach opened up really fast just bear with me so the off door side of this motorhome the living room side the driver side uh, is gonna be an HWH hydraulic slide out so after this thing fully extends, it's going to drop down about two and a half inches and that's going to give us a flush tile floor throughout the entirety of this motorhome. Just while we're kind of doing slides and have some downtime here, this motorhome is equipped with two 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat pumps built into them. The water capacities on it are 105 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons of gray water, and 60 gallons of black water. So now we're going to the kitchen slide out. This is going to be the door side or the passenger side. Okay, so now that's fully extended. Really gives us a lot of nice room in this motorhome, especially for a 40 footer. And then the last slide is going to be the bedroom slide.
All right, so now our bedroom's fully extended as well. So plenty of room in here. We're actually gonna start in the back today and then we'll work our way forward. So coming back into the bathroom here, we are first gonna talk about the emergency egress door. Okay, so now down in this door, we do have a little pad here. If I pulled on that, there is an extension ladder so you don't have to take a dive. But if there was a fire or an emergency in the front of the coach and you needed to get out of it, you can actually come out of bed into the bathroom and out this door. The good news is, is in this particular model, this door is not obstructed by the toilet. So it's kind of off to the side just so that it's easier to get out of. Right here, we've got the electric flush mechanism for this toilet as well as the shades for the bathroom. So we've got a shade and we've got an actual visor, or we've got a shade and a day and a nightshade. So kind of a good setup there. Dometic electric flush toilet down on the bottom. In this compartment, just a huge cabinet here. Would be great for toiletries. Coming into the middle, huge medicine cabinet, you know, medicine, toothbrush, toothpaste, hair dryer, whatever you need, all of that will fit in here, just problem, no problem. We've also got two 110 volt outlets on the back of that cabinet. Get some lights on in here real quick. All right, huge hanging wardrobe in the bathroom of this motorhome. So you've got kind of a longer side over here if you need to take some dresses or something with you. That's a little bit deeper. And notice that light turns on when I open that door. Down below, we've got two drawers. Both of them are going to be quiet closed. In fact, all drawers inside of this motorhome are gonna be quiet closed. And then kind of towards the front of the bathroom. Now this is a nice area because it's not really obstructed. We can still open these doors and move around and it's uh, very easy, but we've got the splendid stacked washer and dryer already in there and ready to go for you. And then the shower, of course. Nice, big, very residential feeling shower. Uh, so plenty of room in here. It does have the stool. So if you need to take a seat while you're in the shower, you got plenty of room to do so. Also the assist handle if you need some help getting up. Now we do have two shower heads in here as well. So we've got just a normal handheld sprayer as well as the top rain shower head and then the aquamizer system which is essentially just going to tell you when you have hot water available. I know it's an on-demand hot water system but in the lines it does sometimes get cold so it will take just a couple seconds before you have full hot water available. Coming into the bedroom area we've got the king bed, now it is a radius corner bed. It makes it just a little bit easier to maneuver around in here. Underneath the bed, nice big storage area. These are gonna be the leafs for your table, which I'll tell you about in just a minute. We got cardboard on them just so they stay protected. And then two folding chairs for your table as well, which we'll talk about again in just a second. Over the bed, two big cabinets. Whoop. Two big cabinets up here. Notice there is two 110 volt US or 110 volt outlets up there. So if you have a CPAP or something, you can leave it up in this cabinet and then just run the hose down through the hole in the back of it. And then underneath we do have general coach controls so we can turn on and off all the lights, start the generator, uh, do that kind of stuff from the bedroom without ever having to go to the, go to the front of the motorhome. And then on the other side, either side of the bed, you do have two 110 volt outlets as well as two USB ports and two nice little nightstands. I'm gonna turn on these accent lights real quick. So accent lighting in both, or in the fascia around the bed. So one, people might use it as a night light, two, just, you know, good ambiance lighting. Coming over to the driver's side here, two really nice big hanging wardrobes, Samsung 43 inch HD TV. And then drawers, wardrobe drawers down below. They're all gonna be pretty much the same, but notice they are all quiet closing drawers. And then over here, we've got our actual AV compartment. So we can set it up for, uh, if you put a satellite on top of this motorhome, we, that's where we're gonna put the receiver. It's got a Sony Blu-ray player in it now, which is standard from the factory. 
Oh. Notice on this motorhome that we have a full tile floor, so there's no carpet whatsoever. Now what's cool about this is this floor is actually heated as well, and it's heated in zones. So you have three zones, which is gonna be bathroom, bedroom, and then the front. So we can turn that on and off from here. You have both, or you have a high, medium, and low setting. And also in this motorhome, all around, we have these little touch pads. These are gonna control our lights for our multiplex lighting system. So if I wanna turn the ceiling lights off, push a button, they go off, I wanna turn them back on, it's right there. Coming into the center of the motorhome, we do have a small half bathroom in the 4081 model. So we've got a couple things going on here. Circuit breakers for the house, that's gonna be your 112 volt, or 110 volt circuit, and then your 12 volt circuit breakers. Linen cap, or uh, toiletry cabinet here. An additional medicine cabinet. Nice sink, um, and then more storage down below for additional toiletries. And then we do have another Dometic electric flush toilet in this, uh, in here as well. Over here we've got a big pantry with locking drawers. Notice that light came on when I opened the door. So on the 2021 models, you push them in and they kind of pop out just a little bit. Full extension drawers. And then when you're done with them or you're ready to travel, push them. They lock in back there so that uh, they don't rattle around while you're driving down the road. Don't damage this cabinet, cabinet door. 19.7 cubic foot Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Again, this is an all electric coach, so there's no propane here whatsoever. And then down below, we've got the freezer drawer with the built-in ice maker. Continuing with just the kitchen area, one small cabinet here with a shelf in it. Newmar does an awesome job by making these deeper cabinets very accessible by giving you the pull out drawers in them. And then this shelf up here is 100% adjustable so we can move it up and down as needed. Now these shelves are all carpet lined to keep things from sliding around and rattling around while you're driving down the road. Spice rack up top there. And then another deep, deep cabinet there with an adjustable shelf in it as well. Whirlpool microwave convection oven. Solid surface countertop. Down on the countertop we have two covers for our stove. Newmart is awesome and puts cutting boards down into the bottom of these stove covers. Two burner true induction cooktop which is removable. So if you want to take it outside and cook, pull it out, unplug it right there. It's just a 110 volt outlet and then take it outside. Or if you want to just clean behind it, they make it really easy for that too. And then when you're done, just tuck it away here. There we go. Tuck it away and then put your countertop covers back on. Over here, we've got the two bowl residential undermount sink. So we've got kind of a wash basin. Now we do have a sprayer attachment on this nozzle and that will provide us with hot and cold water as well. Storage down below. So we've got two of these little drawers. This one's going to have a trash can on it. And then one more that's going to pull out for us. silverware drawer with all of our remotes for this coach right here Newmar throws in a couple little bottles of touch-up paint just in case you ever accidentally dinged it on something they just give it to you and then two full extension drawers here and last but not least this is extension as well just for a little bit of extra counter space so while we're just kind of standing here I wanted to show this so this coach is equipped with MCD power shade. So I've got two remotes just like this. One's gonna be for the front, one's gonna be for the rear. But right now we're just gonna put all our nightshades down. So the touch of one button, they all come down. Uh, so instead of going and pulling them all manually, the Dutch Star does come well equipped enough to have power shades. Uh, really nice feature. 
very easy system to operate. When we're done with them, push another button and away they go. Coming back to kitchen stuff, sorry to sidetrack there. We've got the booth dinette here. So nice big dinette. Another person can sit here without too much trouble. Now this table does extend. There we go. So I showed you that leaf that was in the back. Now you've got two of them to extend this table out and that's about how far it's gonna go. So, and then you have those two folding chairs. So you could put two more people right here. You could very, very, very comfortably seat four or very comfortably seat six uh, at that table. Over here on the passenger side or driver side, we have the dormy theater seating. So full extension theater seating, leans all the way back here doesn't rub against the wall which is nice compared to the freestanding freestanding theater seating and it is a power extend power retract has two cup holders here in the middle and then a huge storage in here um, so if it was my family's camper there'd be board games and cards and things like that so you've got real deep storage and then just a nice little shelf here for those things that you want more often probably would keep remote remotes there if it was me and then all the way across the top We've got cabinets. So they get deeper as they go this way, but they're nice deep cabinets. You know, you can use them as extra kitchen storage. You can use them as extra linen storage. Uh, really, the, it's up to you of what you need. Coming over to the passenger side, we're gonna go and put this up real quick. So with the push of a button that's right between these two recliners, we can raise our 50 inch Samsung HD TV. Now while that's raising, we'll look at just the storage up above it. Two really nice big cabinets. And then in the middle here, we've got the Bose Solo 7 soundbar. And then right below that, we've got another AV compartment. Now we can set up your satellite receiver. Currently from the factory, it comes with a Sony Blu-ray player. One extra 110 volt outlet in there for you. And then over on this left side, we also have two more 110 volt outlets. But Samsung 50 inch HD TV, that is going to be a smart TV. So we can use our streaming services on it. Netflix, Hulu, Peacock, YouTube, whatever you need. Um, we just need a Wi-Fi connection to do that, which most campgrounds nowadays do have available. Coming back up towards the front, a couple last things we're gonna go over today. This is gonna be our entire coach control. So we've got our Magnum 2800 watt inverter controller. We can turn the charger on and off, inverter on and off. We can also control our charge weights, set our auto generator system, whatever we need to do. Another remote for the awning. So this is for those two patio awnings that I showed you in the beginning. We can open and close those and turn the lights on from here as well. These are the controls for the awnings over the window as well as the patio or the entrance door. The Oasis control, which is that hydronic heating. So we can set it to electric, we can set it to burner all from right there. Just security lights up top here. Slide outs in and out. Power control service so we can see right now I'm on 50 amp power and we can also see what is on and using that power. So we've got the block heater, the water heater uh, and then the air conditioning is all right there. And then last but not least our tank levels. So again 105 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons of gray water, 60 gallons of black water, now this is going to show us a percentage so if we had 150 gallons of or 105 gallons of fresh water on here it would show us 100 percent if we had 52 and a half it would show us 50 percent and then our house and chassis battery levels house is at 1379 chassis is at 1382 so those are both good we can turn the water pump on and off as well as fill the fresh water tank from here and then right here we've got just our standard hvac controls so I told you we have zones with those two air conditioning. So you've got living room, bedroom, it's really front and back. I've got them both set to 65. They've been running since about a minute and a half before we started this video. It was 89 degrees in here. So we've already cooled it down 15 degrees just while we're doing this video. And honestly, it's pretty comfortable in here and I'm wearing a pretty thick sweater. And then last but not least, up above the cab here, we do have an additional 43 inch Samsung HD TV, which provides us just better viewing opportunity. You know, if someone's sitting at the dinette, they can look at that TV um, instead of trying to twist their head and look at the, the main TV in the living room. So 
Um, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up my walkthrough of this 2021 Newmar Dutch Star 4081. If you have any questions about this unit, feel free to give me a call at 303-482-6375 or an email at brian.moritz at transwest.com. I'm going to get this unit wrapped up. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week.